Well, well, well. So, because many of you begged me to finish out the series, I'm trying. So I just got done watching the second episode of Masters of the Universe Revelation. Note that it's not He-Man in the Masters of the Universe Revelation. Something I have to say about the last episode before I get into this. Um, a lot of you want to know what I felt about Mark Hamill as Skeletor. And... Frankly, I don't think that the Joker's voice was meant for Skeletor. I don't. I don't think it was meant for Skeletor. All I hear is the Joker. Without the, you know, quick little jokes and, and the maniacal laughter. Like, all I hear is the Joker. So it doesn't work for me. Love Mark Hamill. Love what he does. You know, he's one of the greatest voice actors ever, as far as I'm concerned. But this voice, for me, does not work as Skeletor. Maybe it would work if I had never seen the, the first series. Maybe then. But for some reason, I was like, all I, I feel like I even see the Joker on screen because it sounds almost identically, identical to the Joker. Now, let's get into this. Okay, so in this second episode, um, He-Man is in a, in a flashback, in a memory of Tila. And uh, it's of her and him teaming up and fighting somebody real quick. And that's about it. The rest of it is of them going on this fetch quest to get this um, goblet for this old lady that pays them, her and her friend, um, to go and get it. So they go, they get it, they bring it to her, and she tries to get more out of them by helping uh, her, and they go to Grey Skull, because she wants to go to Grey Skull, and she ends up like, um, they thought she was attacking the, the sorceress, but they weren't. She was actually empowering her, and, you know, it turned out to be, what, Evil Lena, whatever her name is, I forgot. But, anyway... Cringer jumps in and keeps them from killing her. <laughs> and basically you find out that Eternia is like the first planet in all of existence. And uh, all its magic is fading because the power sword is no more. And the power sword held all the magic, ever held everything together. So, Tila must find both halves of the sword. Because legend has it, it's made up of two halves. And then she must wield and call on the power of Grayskull. You know they're trying to make her He-Man, right? Or at least it feels as if they are trying to make her He-Man. That's what it feels like. That's what it sounds like. That's what it looks like. Looks like a duck, quacks like a duck. It's usually a damn duck. It might not be. They might totally fool us. Might not be that at all. She may not become the female Thor. Okay? Or E-Man. He-Man. She may not become the female He-Man. This may not happen. At all. Probably not, guys. But anyway, um, I do feel fooled as a fan because, you know, the original show and even the second show, from what I understand, was all about He-Man. I have to see that one. I want to go back and watch that second show and see what that was all about. Um, but the first one was all about He-Man and the way the trailer was set up. It made it look like you were getting He-Man. If you look at the title, it's a not so apparent hint that it's not going to be about him. So, we shall see. <laughs> I watched Kevin Smith's video of him answering questions. 
I watched all almost 40 minutes of it. We shall see. We shall see. Overall, the episode wasn't too bad. But when you have that dark feeling of them going in a particular direction that you as a fan doesn't want them to go in, it's hard to enjoy it. But it was a high, it's a high episode. Post comments down below. Let me know what you all thought. If you enjoyed my review of this, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. 10 million subscribers. <laughs> Woo!